Hello, Armchair Warriors. Tom here with another episode of my Japanese campaign in Hearts of Iron 3 using the uh, Black Ice modification version 11.3.3. Um, just want to kind of do a refresh here because it's been, been a few days since I've actually played here, so I kind of want to refresh my mind on what's going on. We, we're actually almost a full year, uh, roughly eight months, into our conflict with uh, China. We've knocked out uh, Shanxi here and we're we're actually attacking uh the proc at uh, capital at yanan which uh, says 99 percent, but i don't think it's going that well honestly i think the uh the actual conflict here is going much worse in their favor here um but nonetheless once we get this capital then all those red guys go away um but so far we're we're actually doing pretty good here we got a good Good set of troops up here, though, I mean, a great majority of this cavalry here just is low strength. Uh, they need, they, we need some rest from, uh, relaxation here. I think we are, yes, we're attacking buy-in mod, which that should be going handily. Um, let me, while well, I'm sitting here thinking about it, you know, going over all this stuff here. Let me pull off everybody that is not their org is just like so low there we go so that just leaves those two but we've got five units of reserve they're strong enough i think to take care of those few weakened units in there <coughs> but that'll take and buy in mod um here we can't uh, these are the only two provinces that I can attack buy in mod we'll actually just hold up rest and reorg uh, before pressing further, the uh, uh, Zibisan Ma will be the next country to go here after a PROC. Uh, they've got two uh, victory point locations nearby here, but the one that you have to take when the capital gets taken, it relocates out to here. That's far, far west. We're not going to get to that till 1939, so we're, we're not going to be seeing Zibisan Ma taken out till next year. On that note, I, I fully expect, normally I, I complete the campaign in um, winter of 38 slash 39, uh, even, you know, late, uh, spring um, at, at the worst, but typically I set myself a, uh, a target date of the uh, actual start of World War II uh, by the Germans. Um, so uh, if I can do that this time around, we'll see. I won't be too disappointed though if we go all the way through into 1939, and uh, it takes a while to get to get rid of them. I'm also looking to see how much my uh, IC debt I have remaining here. Uh, doing it on the on the uh, behind the the scenes here. We're paying 90 IC a day towards what we have left, which is just over 500 IC. So I mean, we've got at least another 65 days, roughly, before that goes away, which is fine. Um, the overall health of our uh, economy, our industrial might, isn't all that great. Um, the... We're, yeah, we're kind of low on some resources here that we really need to get. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, energy, we're not too worried about these, honestly. we got more than enough that the little bit that we're losing per day, that's that's not a big deal. But once our IC starts cranking back up again, uh, once once our IC debt is taken care of, we'll get that 60 IC back again. I mean, that like I said, that's 90 IC that's being paid towards it. We'll get that back, so we'll go up to 225 IC. That's going to burn through a ton. I mean, um, so is it half a point? You know, that's like, what, 45 energy, 90 metal, another 180 rare materials, you know, that need to be con converted into uh, IC there. We're, we're, not, we're not making enough of that. So we, we'll take the 65 days to slowly do what we need to do to, to get our resources up, which is basically attacking and conquering parts of, of China, which we're doing well. We've got this line here on, on the river. Um, oh, I got some troubled units here. There we go. We'll, we'll air supply those guys. We, we've got this line along the river here. Uh, we're actually going to be taking that area here pretty soon. 
And then once we do, we're going to move down on this river line here and then uh, cut our way up this way some. Uh, once we take the PROC, PROC back, then we'll move units down this way to kind of meet them up. But this will be the majority of our, our movement, so we can then get these units in, a, in another cauldron here. We had a good good slice of units here in the northern area removed. We had a good slice of units all around here removed. So we're doing pretty well in that regards. Um, am I actually doing any? Don't think I am. Do we have room? No. These guys can't attack because things are too far away. These guys are attacking. Okay. And these guys are all attacking. Okay. Good, good, good. We don't, once we get the PROC, that'll be another air base we can move. We can uh, restage our, our bomber, medium bombers too. And uh, I guess our interceptors as well. We'll move him over there. Uh, well, that was probably a, Wrong thing to do because I've got too many air units there and we can only we can only fix one a day. Yeah, we'll leave it as is. Sea combat, things are going our way smashingly. I don't think I've lost a single naval unit anywhere. We've sustained some damages um, here and there, but uh, yeah, like that destroyer got wrecked, but nothing great of great import. We've sunk so many of their ships. In any event, let's get some things started here. We want to definitely move onward in our, our conflict. We're in spring. We got uh, mud to worry about, but we're moving into that time period where not even that's going to be an issue. So uh, we should have some good attacking weather for the next few months we need to take advantage of. Yep, there's our buy-in mod. We'll just move into that and just simply sit tight. You want to move all these units there. So there's a few areas we're defending very well at. Finish that attack up. So I knew we would. <coughs> yeah, definitely got a bunch of places that were. The Chinese are trying their best at. <coughs> excuse me. Best at trying to. Uh, affect us, but they are not going to succeed. Ah, my throat is dry. I don't know why. Yeah, whoops. This is not going to go too well. In fact, oh, or... Um... Okay, let me, uh, I got a ton of units. We can do that, I think. Let's do that. And the guard can support as well. Yeah, this guy needs to hold off. And that guy can support as well. It's going through all these guys here just to see. Oh, we need to hold him back. Um, probably do the same with him. Attacking across the river, it's not good for us whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, we're being forced to do it. And largely, this was a spoiling attack on their on their capital city. I just want to get that started so that way they wouldn't be trying to reinforce this province. I'm, I want to take this province so we can then close off their capital city and not have to worry too much about things. Um, yeah, we'll, do, we'll keep going with what's going on there. We don't have any areas that we can move in and attack. Uh, these we got so many people that are like out of uh, supplies are really need this port here. Oh, okay, we, we are taking it, so that's good. Um, for infrastructure, we're only supply, transport 95 supplies. There is, yeah, the port here can ship in 21 units of supplies and fuel every day. 
which up here they can they can do 55 up here they can do 27 we're not really and i think that's why these guys are in red we're not seeing required daily supply 111 we're not seeing enough supplies come into the ports that we have to sustain the operations that are going on Not enough, not enough supplies. I mean, there's a bunch coming in here. I'm assuming that any supplies will arrive here and we can then ship it through this way. I would hope. Supplies that kind of, it's kind of a wonky mechanism that I just don't fully understand. I don't know. Um, Removing all these guys here. So we got a bunch of people that I don't want to attack with. Uh, these guys can move in too. Yeah, it's probably like a lot of supplies are getting soaked up here, which means that people further west just are not getting supplies that they need. Uh, shame, but. We will handle it best we can for right now. Uh, do we have any laws? Sufficient laws? No. Um, we do have a bunch of industry coming online later this year. Actually, the next couple of months. Uh, this month, uh, we got one IC that's coming online and going, and then that'll free up some IC to filter down this way. We can drop it down to that. Enforcements. There we go. Techwise, oh yes, techwise. I'm trying to get up to 100%. Just is not letting me. Not letting me at all. Do I have any? Nope. <clears throat> I don't think there's any changes I can do here or need to do. Oh. Total exploitation on everything that that bumps up the uh, the amount of uh, revolt risk that you that you you'll encounter. But it's not honestly, considering we were on military government, it's not that much more. It's like six percent more. The amount of IC we get though, it's about fifty percent more roughly. Yeah, it's leadership modifier that goes way down. Resources, we get more resources as well. So, yeah. We're at 134. Let's see what that gets us up to once we flip, flip over to the new year, new uh, new day here. Really wish, really wish we could get these guys supplied quicker. Well, it's kind of working. These guys kind of supplied. These guys need to get supplied. 138. So, got us a few points of IC. Um, We are short of a lot of things. Uh, we could. Uh, rubber would be nice. We, we kind of do have the money, but I'm trying to think if we need it for anything else coming up. Rubber would be nice if that supply throughput, um, getting rid of that, uh, that malice there, and the uh, mobile movement speed also, that would go away. Rubber be the only thing we'd really need. Do we really want to spend the two grand? I'm getting about 20 a day. It would take me 50 days just to get a grand back. 100, 100 for the uh, full two grand it's going to take me to spend to get the rubber. Eh, not worth it. We will uh, actually postpone it by three months, we'll say. I haven't done a save yet, just had just started. I'll try to save right away when I start a game up. Um, he needs to pull off. So we're at 29, 10th. Uh, six is getting whacked hard. Sheen in the die, 14th. Have it up here.
pull those guys off. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to take this province here. I mean, there's a lot of units are ready to ready to falter, but we're attacking in the mountains here. Yeah, we're not overall. Well, six hundred ninety-three percent defense modifier. Five ten, six fifty-six, six oh nine, three twenty-five, four hundred. And our attack bonus is, yeah, just about 100%. Not a lot going on there. Um, yeah, we're going to hold here. Uh, we got to... Right? I don't know, actually. We've got some troops here we can... <sighs> I mean, we could push towards the capital. We could push to this province here and then hold the river. Let's do that with these guys. And these guys will it would be worthwhile to push out there or just hold. Yeah, let's hold up by and lot. This is Song Wei. 99% or 99 it says will yeah, I mean, yes, they're going to run pretty quickly, I feel. We are in the mountains, so that 21 is probably a little bit more accurate than the 99. But it's like nighttime, so they're not going to be losing too many troops here. Daylight coming real quick. Lost the effects of 60%. We're over to 231. We got several units that are going to break and flee. I'm just wondering if my guys are dropping. Let's, let's get this fixed first here. Yeah, reinforcements take care of that. We're at 41, so we just need to be... <clears throat> say 52 for supplies for right now. Okay, we'll actually start building our uh, naval units. So 33.7, 32... Whoa, 29.9, 29.6, 29.1. My main infantry unit, which is like the stronger units, is getting is dropping quite rapidly. Let's hold off. That's not looking any any good for us. Yeah, we were we were losing five to one odds, or we we're losing five times as many troops as they were. They also have a lot of troops in there. We'll wait till our reinforcements come in. We've got to get some. Yeah, let's do that. Five for forty-four metal. That'll get us back in the green for metal. This. I know that's going poorly, but I also know we're really hurting them quite a bit. Yeah, let's do that. Um, let's support the attack on there and see what that does. Bumps up to 30. That's not enough. That's not enough. <clears throat> yeah, let's let's just simply lost a lot of troops there. And a lot of troops there too. Combat's going on was not sufficient, I feel, to make up for what we're we are losing there. My, I'm actually selling energy. We are converting over 100, though. Uh, yeah, we're not making any money on that. <clears throat> so let's get our two back. Let's do the same thing with Yemen. We're not making just a nickel. Get our get our energy back there. And 115 being converted from the crude oil to fuel, I believe, is what's happening there. Yeah. That's making us a couple bucks there. We'll let that keep going. We may need to buy some energy from, uh, <clears throat> from Germany here. 15. No. Thank you, though. Punish the enemy. No. Because, if I mean, we gain a lot of threat, and honestly, it's not, that's not something I need at this point. 
I'll let them attack me now in, uh, well, <laughs> mostly unfavorable terrain. <clears throat> but I'll let them start wailing on me and, and losing. Uh, let's move the 20th over here and let's move the 4th over here. Get some fresh troops in into here. Twentieth, <clears throat> it'll take him two days. That's that's fine. This this is not gonna go that poorly. Uh, what are we doing over here? Okay, all of these tanks need to help here. All of these guys. Now, he needs to come over here. <clears throat> Is there anybody? Yeah, he'll just stay. Um, but meanwhile, everybody's pretty much attacking. And yeah, we'll keep the extra marine unit there just in case we need him. These guys will attack across the river here. units that need to get their organization back. This this typically hits me. I don't know why it's always this time of year, I guess, because it's just too difficult to move supplies, perhaps. Um, the uh, I guess the winter just does a number to my supplies where it drains them so much so that I don't have enough supplies to to sustain operations and the little the few that I do have going on just sucks it all away to the point where my other units they start losing a lot of work. So yeah, we did we did pretty good defense wise there. They're gonna attack me again. That's fine. Attack with the unit a unit at a time, burn through your organization, that's fine. So I actually retreated a couple one unit that had a little bit of uh, not enough organization there. <clears throat> what do we got going on here? Mine investment? We don't need to do it. We got enough money now. We could do it, but let's hold off for another three months. I keep feeling that I'll be... I've got something that's going to happen here soon that I need some money for. Uh, nope, because we need the heart attack. That's looking pretty good there. Spring blood clears. Good. That should mean things will go a little bit easier now. Yeah, that's with my uh, 20th infantry coming in here bolstering my defenses. Yeah, that's that's not looking good for them now. They got a bunch of units coming in. I would wonder if they would expend themselves fully on me here. And if they do, I will take advantage of that. I actually have some pretty good they're low org, but they're still pretty good. Yeah, that militia that's me going away here soon. Daylight coming soon. Yep, ran away. They can keep attacking me there. If they lose a, a thousand troops to my barely a hundred, I will take those <laughs> odds all the time. Alrighty, want to get through into April for you guys? Because um, we started here, yeah, I started March 11th. So if I get through uh, to April 11th here, it's like another 15 minutes. Try to keep my uh, actually got a stopwatch going. Trying to keep my my talking down to about 40 minutes. So, I mean, we'll try to go as fast as possible. Gameplay-wise, I don't go too fast just because I start losing track of what's going on. Uh, 
they keep attacking me. Oh, that's looking really nice. Yeah, I can't see what they've got going on. Oh, yeah, that's right. Intelligence. I was going to look at Asia. Um, Republic of China. I can't see much because I don't have enough spies there or People's Republic of China. But I was hoping I might be able to catch something here. Nope. Gung see click. Nope. Uh, Zibi San Ma. Yunnan. Nope. On all those. All right. That's fine. Oh. Yeah, we need a razor. Actually, two still. They're losing 10 to every one of mine. Uh, one guy, so yeah. Lovely. Yeah, finally, we're going, we're building our naval units here. So that's that's perfect. Um, we'll leave our supplies the way they are. We're actually now in the green. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Um, I have 11 bucks. And we really don't need metal. We're okay there. We really need rare. So let's see what these two say. Well, if I'm gonna do either one, it would be Russia. Spend spend my 11.41. Look, well, yeah, get 50 cents a day for eight rare. <clears throat> let's just decline that for right now. Still got units terribly out of supply. Well, hopefully with the, well, let's right, check weather. So hopefully with the, the improvement to, to weather here, um, yeah, things are okay. Uh, no mud, it's not frozen. Clear sky all around. Yeah, some mud there. Oh, muddy here. But I would hope that any supplies, any muddy there, hopefully supplies are kind of going this way rather than going through the muddy area. Because I imagine that mud does slow down the transmission of supplies there. Doing good. Doing good. They can keep attacking me. Let's check this here. Ho, ho, ho. Units are looking really, really weak. Um, who can I pull out of here? Let's pull all these guys here. And let's move that guy there. These guys here. Let's pull a militia off. Specialized light infantry. One of our weaker regular infantry units. Move them in just to help help defend. Because I mean we're doing good. That that the twentieth is gonna hold, but I don't want to entirely count on just them. Yeah, I like to see all that organization just get whipped on them there. Oh yeah. Um, again, that'd be 50 cents for 854. That's a little bit more than what, uh, UK was offering there. That would be a lot of my money. Well, let's do it. Kind of entering a world of hurt at this point. Can't really kill any of our current. Right, mod. They are just losing troops left and right. We will take that. <clears throat> Snow eases off. That's as good. 
So we'll be seeing increased mud pretty soon here. Oh, that's looking better. Um, yeah, everybody's looking okay there. Couple bucks there. Oh, where'd we win? Okay, finally there. Did lose a lot of troops, but they lost three times as many. Attacking Cross River, that, you know, that never goes well. A place that's not river. There, there, and there. Oh, well, that's right. I was getting attacked there. I was thinking I could have brought somebody in on that fight. Oh, good, good, good. Chinese troops have defected. Yeah, we don't, we don't need metal. So they could certainly be useful. Put them to use. Uh, where did you where were you? So you're up here there. You're just a regular unit. Um, we will bring you down to here, I feel. Or actually down here. Not the garrison. Air unit will move down that way. These Chinese collaborators will move over to here. So I can then move this Marine headquarter elsewhere. I think we're good to go. I don't have any troops waiting over here. No. And nope as well. Why? Him back to there. How deep am I? Whoops, we got, we got some reinforcements that need to be taken care of here. All right, how deep into the queue are we? Pretty deep, actually. That's good. Starting to work on our carriers, which, by the way, my goal is by the time uh, Pearl Harbor, we have two dozen carriers, combination of light and uh, fleet carriers, ready for that conflict. That's far and away more than what the Japanese had historically, um, but nonetheless, that's that's what I feel I need to have from that coming war. Keep attacking. Keep attacking. Um, does anybody here? I have a bunch of units that really need to get pulled out so they can get some reinforcements. <coughs> there we go. Oh, no, communist gorillas. Okay. I see efficiency. Oh, we're now filing a positive numbers here. Good. Formation in the 15th, 17th, 21st, 22nd divisions. Uh, this will it'll actually help us in regards to our, our uh, resources. Because we're going to be getting a huge hit to our uh, IC uh, because we'll have to pay these units back um, in the form of debt. Remember, it says we're paying 60%, paying 90 IC here. It'll take us some time to get that fully repaid. All right, four infantry units, which more than likely I'll land here at uh, Lian Young Gang, Young Gang, just to help in this push westward here, because I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to do much. Um, this is looking really, really good. That militia is going to go away. It's going to evaporate. Yep. Victory! 
So we lost almost 4,500, but they lost 17,000 of their troops. Yeah. Far and away a better deal. And they can keep attacking me there. That's fine. Each unit they attack me with, it's just going to kill their organization. Um, now that we're in the green, oh, how much I see or leadership do we want to put towards this? Uh, let's go down to the light infantry branch there. Say 12. Let's actually let's do a little further. Let's do 13. Lucky number 13. Baker's dozen. This still gives us 186 officers a day. Uh, we need 12,000 officers. So um, 80 days, 75 days, we'll be hitting that 100% mark. So there's really nothing magical about it. It's just where I feel more comfortable. I, I don't know if you get start taking penalties if you go into the red. I don't like to get into the yellow. But I feel that you do, you would probably take some penalties. Because, I mean, if you look, it says, um, oh, well, no, we're green. I think in, when you're yellow, it says something like, you know, effect of uh, our officer ratio is this. It's blank. I, I would imagine if you went down to the red of your for your officer ratio, it would you would start getting some, some nasty modifiers. There's our 60% hit here. Standard infantry, good. So now we're res yeah, we're researching through the industrial efficiency. Yep, we're winning there pretty good. Yay. Uh, let's save. It's been a week. Um, looking okay. We're not ready to attack though. I mean, I really, really wish that we could, because he's got to be—he's got to be pretty weak with organization in there. We got—we got to sit and chill for a bit. Though he's not attacking me, so he must not be doing very good. And he's pulling units out of here. Strangely, that's all ROC units. <laughs> they know what's going on. They're like, "We're see ya. We wouldn't want to be ya." Um, let's see what that looks like. I'm not gonna, not gonna do the whole entire. Oh yay! I love this guy. This guy gives points for everything. Yeah, very very nice. Um, Yanan, fourteen percent. Um, wow. So if there, it's not organization hit then it's strength hit. They've only got one full strength organism. Oh, you know what? You've got to take advantage of this right now. Uh, not him. We have got to take advantage of this. Let's not take these weak units in. Up to 67, 69, 70. Beautiful. So I would like to say um, <laughs> what I did was just a trap. Yes, that was my uh, military acumen, uh, my entire intelligence kicking in, going, yeah, we're going to attack our ca the capital city until we're, we're badly wasted and then retreat, let them attack me and wait, let them waste themselves and then move back in with all our reinforced fully reinforced units. <laughs> I, I, I wish I was that intelligent. That was just pretty much sheer. Not luck, but it's just so good. I still lost a bunch of units, but yeah, that was just amazing how that worked. Keep attacking us. That's fine. That's fine. Do you have anybody else here that needs to... Not really. We're good. I have enough troops there to, to handle what's going on. Now, the main thing is I've got to get into Yanan before uh, they do. Oh, let's see. I 
alarm is going off, let me know. That's been 40 minutes. Oh, they attacked us there. I didn't realize. Copper surplus. Good. We can now resell copper, which we will certainly do. Let me save it. Next episode, we will take it in. We will knock the PROC out of the war. I do appreciate you guys watching. You guys have a great day.